Hey gang, AV here, and welcome to my June 2012 Dollar Bin comic book haul. Uh, I wasn't planning on making this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hell, I wasn't even planning on buying these books. Uh, tell you the truth and make a long story short, my comic shop owner, he, uh, he's one of the few that still buys, uh, Dollar, or, you know, single, single book collections off of people and he makes a profit by doing it by pulling out the key issues and then blowing out the rest for like a buck a piece so seeing dollar bins in the shop when I go in on Wednesdays really isn't that big of a deal I mean they're there all the time <coughs> excuse me but uh, this Wednesday when I went in there I had some time to kill and uh, I started digging through just just because he had a sign up on the ten dollar boxes that he had laid out saying that you know you buy five you get two free you buy a hundred you get fifty for free that seemed like a pretty de decent deal and I ended up picking up uh, thirty dollars worth of dollar books so if you do the math that's forty two uh, forty two books for thirty bucks that's not too bad um, I'm not gonna show you all of them just because I mean when you're digging through a dollar bins you're not getting um, you know, uh, all of the same thing most of the time. You are picking out like odds and ends and stuff like that. Uh, and I filled in some gaps with my journey into mystery books. You know, I picked up like a Alan Moore, uh, um, Alan Moore, uh, Frank Miller, uh, Electra, you know, uh, Shadowhawk number one with the, the coupon still inside. You know, like just little odds and ends like that I got. But the mo majority of the things I picked up were um, Alan Moore stuff from uh, America's Best Comics. And that's what I'm going to be showing you this time. Because I haven't read any of these and I figured with the whole Before Watchmen thing going on right now, everybody's thinking about Alan Moore this month in particular. Um, maybe you don't know that these are out there. And maybe if you're lucky, they'll be in the dollar bins at your local shop. So I figured I'll get this out there, let people know what's out there, just in case they're interested. Um, so what we have here num is uh, Promethea, number one. And I think I actually picked up the first four issues of this, and 27, which you will see later. So that's Promethea, number two. There are a lot of books, so I'm going to try to blow through them as fast as I can. Promethea number three. Promethea number four. And I do believe I have 27. I will show you that off later. But uh, I like the artwork on these. They're pretty nice. Top 10, number 1. This is the uh, Alex Ross cover. I've heard a lot of good things about Top 10, so I was pretty excited to find that. I think I had the first three issues of it. Yep, there's Top 10, number 2. I'm looking forward to digging into these. Top 10, number 3. And Tom Strong. Uh, there was an awful lot of Tom Strong in that bin. Um, I could tell by looking at the boxes that not too many people had thumbed through it by before I got there. And uh, there was pretty much a straight run of Tom Strong up until like issue number 22. Uh, <laughs> I got them all. I figured if a guy, if the former previous owner had bought that many of them in order without missing a single issue, they can't be that bad. So uh, I'm looking forward to digging into these as well. So that's Tom Strong, number one. Number two. And if you notice, the title and the, uh, the uh, cover layouts are change from issue to issue. These covers are actually pretty, pretty neat. I like them. 
A lot of them are cover swipes. Even if I don't know them right off the bat, some of them look very familiar. Feel free to speculate in the comments if you want. That's issue number three. There's issue number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Ten. Eleven. That's a pretty sweet cover. Twelve. Obviously a JLA cover swipe there. Thirteen. Tom Strong family, which makes me think it's a uh, Captain Marvel family, maybe. <clears throat> what is that, 14? Yeah, 14. This is easily Fantastic Four cover swipe. Enough for number 15. Or maybe not. I don't know. It reminds me of Fantastic Four with the font they used. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Which is a cover swipe of number one, if you remember. Twenty-one. Which is an Avengers cover swipe. Unfortunately, I don't remember the, the title off the top of my head, but it's the one where the swordsman throws Cap off the uh, off the building under construction. It might be issue number twenty-one. Now that I think about it, right. issue number twenty-two, which is. Crisis on Infinite Earths, number uh, seven, I believe. Yeah. Was it seven or eight? I think it was seven. God damn, I have it graded. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and rewatch my video when I had that in there. Damn. Pretty sure it's seven. But anyway, it's a uh, it cover swipe off the classic Perez cover. And this is Promethea number 27 that I told you about earlier. And this is a cover swipe off of the uh, Superman-Spider-Man crossover. The classic. But yeah, I can't believe I found that many Alan Moore books, especially sequential like that, in the dollar bin. I mean, that's awesome. 
he can't beat that. And with everybody thinking about Alan Moore this month, I figured I may as well let, let you guys know these these things are out there. If you're interested, you probably find them in dollar bins at your shop. So may as well go look for them. Happy hunting. And you know what? Just because I've got them right here, I may as well show you the other books I got while I was there. Yeah. I've, like I said, filled in some gaps for my journey in the mystery. So I got, what was that? 528, 529, 530, or 630, my bad. 631. I really like the young Loki. I didn't think I was going to, but he's grown on me. He's a pretty decent character. And I'm glad I could catch up in the dollar bin. That's awesome. I thought I'd have to wait a little longer. Uh, this was just uh, Incredible Hulk 316. A book I was missing. Uh, Fear Itself, Spider-Man Part 3, which I missed when it came out. I Am Captain America. You probably guess why I picked that up. Uh, Frank Miller, Electra, number one. Shadowhawk, number one, that I told you about. Lovecraft, issue number one and two. And Tomorrow's Stories. Number one. Well, yeah, uh, that was my June 2012 dollar bin comic haul. As I said, it was a pretty decent deal. Buy five, get two free. So I got 42 books for 30 bucks. That ain't bad at all. Um, and especially when you consider that they most of them were sequential. So I can just read through entire story arcs for pennies, you know pennies on the dollar when they first came out uh, they're not in too bad shape either the original owner took pretty decent care of them I mean a couple flaws just because they were beat up a little bit in the in the bins but they're not too bad uh, anyway uh, just giving you guys a heads up letting you know the Alan Moore stuff is out there it's worth looking for the guy is uh, a modern legend in the comic book industry for a reason. Can't hurt to pick up a book of his to read. Um, if you like this video, then check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.